Hello and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Number 81. Here we have a great bread and butter case. This is a coronal T2 fat sat image through the knee. And the question associated with this case is, what ligament is at least partially torn here? The medial collateral ligament, the fibular collateral ligament, the anterior cruciate ligament, or the posterior cruciate ligament? What ligament is at least partially torn? If we take a look at this image here, Remember that this is the bone here, this is the tibia, this is the femur, this dark black line is the cortex of the bone, this gray intermediate signal is the articular cartilage. Remember that all ligaments are going to be dark or black on every MRI sequence, T1, T2, STIR, post contrast, it doesn't matter. This here is the medial collateral ligament, this dark black linear structure extending from the medial femoral condyle to the proximal tibia, usually 5 to 7 centimeters above the joint to five to seven centimeters below the joint. We're seeing part of the posterior cruciate ligament extending from the lateral, excuse me, the medial intercondylar notch, right? We're seeing part of it here. Remember that the posterior cruciate ligament inserts onto the extra articular tibia. Here we have the ACL or the anterior cruciate ligament extending from the lateral intercondylar notch and inserting here onto the tibial eminence. And finally, we have the fibular collateral ligament that runs from the lateral femoral condyle and it's going to insert onto the fibular head. Notice that this ligament is very abnormal. Right? There's a lot of edema around it. There's actually T2 bright fluid that's disrupting at least part of the ligament itself, indicating at least a partial tear, if not a complete tear, right? So the answer here really is a fibular collateral ligament partial tear. Now, notice that there is some signal in the ACL, and that's allowed. You're allowed to have some uh, signal within the ACL. Remember, there's an anterior medial and a posterior lateral bundle. As long as the signal is not going perpendicular to the access of the ligament, right? It's actually flowing along the fibers of the ligament. This is not a torn ACL. So the best answer here is the fibular collateral ligament is at least partially torn here. Now, knee injury can be very complex, right? You can have injury to the bone. You can have injury to tendons. The meniscus can be torn. Ligaments, as you saw in this index case, can be torn. The joint capsule can be injured. And the soft tissues like the muscle can have injury associated with them. And for a quick review of the MRI knee anatomy, please refer to my MRI knee tutorial. Really straightforward. It's like in 15 minutes, I go over all the anatomy that you need to know uh, in MRI and when reading MRI. Now, there are very four important lateral structures in the knee that are important for stability. And going anterior to posterior, we start with the iliotibial band, which is formed in the pelvis, right? And then it goes and it starts along the anterior lateral tibia at a place called Jerdy's tubercle. That's the iliotibial band. Right after that, we have the fibular collateral ligament, as you saw, that runs from the lateral femoral condyle and inserts onto the fibular head. And just sort of posterior lateral to the fibular collateral ligament's insertion onto the fibular head, we have the biceps femoris tendon, literally right next to the fibular collateral ligament. And then we have finally the popliteus tendon that comes in and then inserts onto the popliteal sulcus on the lateral femoral condyle. The popliteus tendon actually communicates with the knee joint in the same way that the biceps tendon in the shoulder communicates with the glenohumeral joint. So if you have fluid in the knee joint, chances are you'll have fluid around the popliteus tendon sheet as a normal finding. So ligament injury is graded as grade one, grade two, and grade three on MRI. A grade one injury is when it's not quite torn, but it's sprained. So like a chronic injury, usually it's thickened. There's intermediate signal that's not quite T2 light bulb bright. There may be ligamentous edema or edema around the ligament, but the, the substance and the fibers of the ligament themselves are intact. That's a grade one sprain. A grade two is similar to what you kind of saw in the index case where it's a partial tear. You actually have T2 fluid bright signal in the substance of the ligament that disrupts part, but not all of the ligament, right? That's a grade two. And a grade three is when you have a complete tear. You have T2 fluid bright signal that disrupts the entire substance of the ligament. Often it's torn and ruptured from its bony attachment. That's a grade three tear or a grade three sprain. Hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tune in next week for another high yield MSK unknown case.